My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a little firecracker right here. A little lightweight Nova with a 383 stroker making 410 horsepower. It's got an overdrive trans, custom suspension, disc brakes, posi rear end, 37 years, one owner. It's a California car, all original, pristine sheet metal. This is a pretty hot little car. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study the pictures. That's where you find the prices on all of the collector cars that we offer for sale. Volocars.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon. That way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But right now I'm excited. Take you for a spin. I got to start off by talking about the metal underneath the car. The floors are as dry as a chalkboard. All the seams, all the pinch welds, uh, the metal is so smooth. There's no pitting, no cuts, splices. Even up here behind the tires, it's like perfect original metal. It's got the little drain plugs are still in place. So the floors are nice. It has a Church Brothers or Church Boys racing front end system under there. It's really cool. I've never seen that type before. I'm looking at it for the first time like, what have we got here? But there's a sticker right on it. And I went on their website and researched it. Uh, but it's all tubular upper and lower control arms. And the tubular control arms are like relocated. Uh, it's got a tubular support bar in front. I don't know if that's what they call their sway bar or, or what, but uh, pretty cool setup. And it's all new. It's got QA1 adjustable coilover shocks. Uh, rack and pinion steering, so really trick new front end. Uh, all new brake system, it does have disc in front, they're drumming back. I notice there's no emergency brake. Uh, got a CPP fuel system, it's a fuel injected car, so the tank comes with the fuel pump built in, it has all the premium fuel lines and fittings and fuel pump. Uh, Really nice exhaust. It's a fat stainless steel exhaust with the X pipe in the middle. It goes all the way out the back. It sounds really good. You'll hear it towards the end of this video. Uh, you look up at the engine, it's spotless. I think this had a custom oil pan, high torque starter. It's a 700 R4 overdrive automatic with a nice aluminum pan. Uh, in back is a rebuilt 10 bolt rear end. Uh, it's got posi gears, I think 331 gears, but uh, you can go to our website and confirm that. And that's all been rebuilt. So under the car, all rebuilt, perfectly clean metal. The body is the same way. They said it was all original sheet metal, no rust repair. If you're looking for that virgin body, this is supposed to be it right here. And it looks that way from my inspection. So you look down the car, it's straight, over the top is straight. No problem areas, smooth. I always look around the bottoms. That's where they're going to bubble because that's where they pack them with Bondo. Yeah, even underneath here, I can feel the factory pinch welds still. Trunk fits real nice. This side here, yep, just as nice. The factory pinch welds are there. They're all around the wheel well, too. That's nice. If you're a car guy, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So all smooth, no bubbles. Bottom of the doors, nice and clean. I can tell the door opens so easily. That's nice. Painted Viper Silver. So it's got a metal flake laid out with a nice shiny clear coat finish. Viper Silver. We have the paint code uh, information for it. The car does come with a binder with some miscellaneous specs and receipts and literature for what was done to it. Uh, since I'm standing here, the mirror looks new, windshield and gasket look new, the wiper arms are shiny. The trim up here has got some freckles, it's nice and shiny. I don't know if it's a poor reproduction, because it looks new, but it has some pits in it. Uh, bumper's beautiful, grill looks really nice, headlight bezels are probably new. Got some nice bright chrome Koi's wheels with performance tires. A mirror on this side is real nice. All this stainless. Oh, there's a bird poop. 
That's new from just sitting outside. Uh, stainless trim is all straight and shiny. On top of the doors here is real nice and straight and shiny. Door handles real nice. I love the red. By the way, the silver with the red is amazing. This car has been sitting outside the door there for the last few hours. I must have heard five people say the colors were awesome on this car. So side moldings are really nice original. It looks like you got a little dent, a little dimple here and there, but really nice. The rear window is crystal clear. That must be new as well. All the trim back here looks new. The bumper, the moldings, tail lights, it's real nice. Trunk compartment, just dry, clean metal. I was up in here, no splices or cuts. Neatly spatter painted, gray and white. It's got a nice trunk mat. It's got a nozzle here to fill the air shocks. I don't think I mentioned that, it has air shocks in the back. So under the trunk lid and the jam are painted nice, has new weather strip. Nice gas cap. Door jams painted nice, weather strips, window seals, all that's really good. So the seats are re, uh, reupholstered in the correct reproduction upholstery. Carpets are new, has reproduction rubber floor mats. Uh, the door panels are in really nice shape. Uh, armrests are new. Yeah, let's talk about this motor. They called it a hand-built 383 stroker making 410 horsepower. It's got aluminum intake, looks like it was powder coated silver. Uh, it's got some nice aluminum finned valve covers and that's a sniper uh, fuel injection system sitting on top of there too. Got an MSD ignition system, nice set of headers. The whole engine bay is super nice. The metal is all smooth satin black. Firewall silver. This door opens just as nice. It has seat belts in the front. I don't know if there's any under the back seat. Uh, headliner's new, dome light works, visors look new. The metal is all painted inside. The dash pad looks new, all the knobs. The whole instrument bezel, uh, shiny chrome, that all looks new. Down below the dash, it has a vintage style tachometer and two gauges. You might have noticed there's a screen that's for the fuel injection. You can adjust it if you want. I wouldn't touch it myself. You don't have to have that hanging there. Uh, and there's instructions to start it. You turn the key on, you wait a couple seconds and just touch the key and it fires right up. You don't have to touch the gas pedal. It does have a retro stereo, kick panel speakers. Back in the engine compartment, it's got a dual reservoir master cylinder, nice aluminum champion radiator with a shroud and an electric fan, batteries secured nicely. Again, everything's painted nice, wiring's nice. Looks really good in here. New pulleys, the alternator's down at the bottom there, out of the way. Okay, let's start her up. Where's the keys? Here we go. I'm so used to pumping the gas, I gotta refrain from doing that. Light works in the glove box, has owner's manual, has touch up paint. It even has the overdrive indicator on the shifter. Very snappy, very responsive. see new wiring and I think there was uh, paperwork for new wiring harness and if you notice I just let the hood go the trunk go barely even push the doors everything just shuts on its own because it all fits so nice cool little car quality little car I'd be 
more than happy to own this myself. This is uh, one to be proud of. You can go to volocars.com because that's my impression of this car, but there's plenty of ways to contact our salesmen. If you have specific questions or concerns, please ask them. They can help you the best they can. They will also help you get financed and get the car delivered to your door. It's at volocars.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Click on the bell icon and that way you'll be the first to see the videos as they're posted. Thanks for watching.